10 Money Habits That Keep You Poor Every day you choose if you'll be rich or poor in the future. Number 1. Taking Poor Money Advice From Poor People The brutal truth? You won't get rich by working for someone else. Talk to people who are where you want to go. Also, stop taking advice from people who are not successful. Without your choice, you end up surrounded by people and some become your friends. You are the average of the five people you spend most of your time with. Hang out with broke people? Guess who's gonna be the sixth? Poor people love to blame others for their failures. If all you know how to do is flip burgers, you won't get very far. Lucky for you, you can learn valuable skills online for free and you can learn real skills which you can monetize. In the age of information, being ignorant is a choice. So sort through the bullshit, find quality teachers, and start learning. Number 2. Gambling and Lottery Luck isn't a strategy. Life is about control. Get as much of it as possible. Control yourself and your environment until the future becomes predictable. Life is a probability game. The more you understand this, the quicker you'll stop being poor. All rich people do every single day is focus on their efforts on improving the probability of them making more money. Number 3. Spending money on things that you want but don't need Poor people are quite profitable. Companies and marketing people understand this very clearly. That's why you see all these broke people trying to flex on the gram. Poor people think rich people wear Gucci because Gucci is paying celebrities to wear the brand so they can sell to more poor people. You're being marketed to all the time because poor people are bad with money. That's the paradox of growing up broke. You stay broke by trying to fill that hole that growing up broke left inside of you. Please remember that if it's on sale but you don't need it, it's still an expense and you shouldn't buy it. Number 4. Not knowing how much money you spent last week, month, or year. Y'all just spend money the second it hits your account. Every poor person out there complains they don't have enough money, yet none of them know where their money goes. You think tracking your expenses is hard. You know what's even harder? Staying poor and not being able to afford anything. Wake yourself up and realize just how much money you're unnecessarily spending on subscriptions and stuff you don't need. Every resource out there will talk about budgeting and planning, and yes, that is the way to do it, but as long as money coming in minus money going out equals zero, how else can you expect your life to improve? Measure how much money you're making and track how much you're spending. It's the first step to realize just how fragile a position you find yourself in. Number 5. Spending money you don't have on things you can't afford anyway. Debt is the modern-day form of slavery. The moment you borrow money to buy anything, the corporation owns your time until the money is repaid with interest. The first thing you need to do is to stop wanting things now. Instead, only buy it when you can actually afford it. A good rule of thumb is if you have to ask yourself if you can afford it, you can't. If you can't buy it twice, you can't afford it. Borrowing money is a horrible habit that is systematically keeping the general population poor. Be wary of lending other people your money, for while it's with them, it ain't earning any money for you. Number 6. Trying to keep up appearances The more you think about it, the more you realize just how foolish that sounds. People will sacrifice their own future just to impress people they don't like. Why do you feel the need to spend $100,000 on a wedding? Why do you feel the need to upgrade your iPhone every year when the old one works just as well? You can invest in a business or travel the world with your loved one. Stop playing status games. There is a hidden rule that poor people don't know. The appearance game cannot be won. The second you get up to date, that's when the goalpost moves. What you end up with is called the Red Queen's Race. A concept from Alice in Wonderland where you have to run as hard as you can just to stay in the same place. That's why you can never win this game. You need to keep spending your money just to stay in the same place. Number 7. Having only one source of income this is where we feel some butts clenching up because who can afford to work yet another job? 
You see, for poor people, working a job is the only way they know how to earn money, and as we established early on, working a job will never make you rich. The more streams of income you have, the less likely you are to go broke. Research into the distributed wealth of the rich shows that 65% of self-made millionaires had three streams of income, 45% of self-made millionaires had four streams of income, and 29% of self-made millionaires had five or more streams of income. Poor people earn money only while they're working. It doesn't matter how much money the side hustle brings in as long as it keeps dripping while you're away. If you're unable to earn money while you sleep, you'll never be rich. Number 8. Wasting money and time, usually on entertainment. If you're in your 30s and broke, it's because you procrastinated in your 20s. Wanna be rich? Every day spend more time on creation than you spend on consumption. This creates a value-added surplus in your life. When everybody has the same number of hours in a day, the difference in long-term results comes from how many of those hours we use to better ourselves. Pay attention to what you're creating. Understand the fundamentals mentioned earlier about earning while you sleep, and it's just a matter of time until the residual income becomes decent. If you want to start your wealth building process, replace the dead times in your day with a productive activity. Number 9. Going YOLO Thinking short-term versus long-term And stop sacrificing the future for the present when the present isn't even that good. Screw living rich and dying broke. The entire flex culture and this attitude of living in the moment does nothing but harm the poor parts of society. Fundamentally, poor people buy things that don't hold value. And it gets worse. Poor people pay interest when they borrow money to buy those things that depreciate in value over time. Not only are you losing money every year, but you're also paying interest in the money you borrowed to get it. You're getting screwed from both ends. The average car will depreciate 63% in the first five years. Use the long term over the short term. Get it backwards and you will be generationally poor. Number 10 not learning how to invest and being afraid to change. If what you're lacking is money, why don't you spend time to learn how money works? Everything you need to know about money is available for free. The more you learn, the more you earn. The more you're able to use modern technology, the higher your leverage is. Don't be scared of the new. Embrace it and you'll be rewarded for it. For those of you still watching our true Aluxers, of course, there's a bonus waiting. Limited versus unlimited output. For the bonus part of our episode, we want to share with you this idea of limited versus unlimited output, or in other words, linear versus exponential returns on your work. Even today, most people think of money in linear terms because that's how they were brainwashed to think. That's what the world was like when they grew up. For them, if you put in 8 hours of work, you get 8 hours of output. This was true when you were hand making bricks or chopping wood, but it doesn't apply to the world we live in right now. Depending on your ability to perform in the market, you fall into one of three categories of nonlinear work. Okay work gets you a multiple of 1. Good work gets you a multiple of 10. Amazing work gets you a multiple of over 100. Code is nonlinear. Content is nonlinear. Authenticity is nonlinear. Good writing, good branding, everything where creativity is involved is nonlinear. What behaviors have you experienced or witnessed that are keeping people poor? Share with us in the comments. 